All right, welcome back to Mind Pump TV. I'm Adam Schaefer, I'm your host today, and we are taking you guys through the first five days of the MAPS Anabolic Program. Now, today there's a little bit of a twist, so before you finish watching this video, you have an option. If you are somebody who's advanced, if you've been working out for a really long time, you just came across these videos and you wanted to try out the MAPS Anabolic Program, you may be somebody who we consider advanced lifter, if you're an advanced lifter, instead of following the routine that we have put in here today, you'll actually refer back to the first video in this series. Now everybody else, if you are an intermediate or a beginner, or you just came over from our 30 days of health and fitness with Mind Pump, if that's you, then we're recommending that you guys go on to the exercises that we have in today's video, which is another trigger session. Now, don't forget, when you guys do these trigger sessions, they should only last about 10 to 12 minutes, and you'll hear Sal recommend that you can do this two to three times throughout the day. So you do not have to go to the gym for this. You do not have to do it in just one workout. You can split this up or do it in multiple times per day. It'll benefit you if you do this. But remember, you're not trying to go to failure. We are just trying to send that anabolic signal. We're also trying to facilitate recovery. We're not trying to tear and break down. All right, we're into a lat pull down with the rubber band right here. Now, when you pull down, you want to make sure you keep the chest puffed up, retract the shoulders, and squeeze the shoulder blades back. So the chest is up, shoulder blades are back, driving those elbows down and back when you do this row. Good controlled repetitions, full extension, full contraction. That means you stretch the arms all the way out at the top and pull them all the way down and back at the bottom. Now, you can do this in a standing position, but we know that a lot of people probably won't have somewhere to anchor it up really, really high, so we recommend sitting down. But if you do have somewhere where you can anchor it up high, you can do these standing also. Exactly. Coming up next, band chest press. All right, we're back into the chest press with the band. Split stance, chest is up, shoulders are back. And you're just keeping those elbows at a slight bend as you drive back, making sure the chest stays puffed up. And those shoulder blades back, to keep it all in the chest. That's it. Not much else to add. Just get a stretch at the back and a squeeze at the front. Remember, we're not going to failure. Just getting a nice little pump here. Coming up next is the band rear delt fly. Okay, you want to anchor your band around an object. You can use a doorway or a cage like we're showing here. Arms at your sides as you pull back, arms straight. This is a rear delt exercise. Right, and think about pulling your hands apart more than pulling them back. Common mistake you see here is people retracting and squeezing their back too much. Remember, this is a rear delt. We're focusing on a small part of the shoulders. So you're just going to fly out, keeping that tension on the shoulders as you resist on the way back, nice and slow and controlled. Perfectly said, Adam. Coming up next, standing calf raise. All right, we're doing your basic standard standing calf raise. You just want to stand on an object that's elevated, push off on the balls of your feet, come all the way up, and go all the way down for a nice stretch. Now, this is a trigger session, so we don't have him holding any weight, and he's not doing it on one leg. We're doing both because we're just working on that full range of motion, getting a nice pump in the calves. All right, so this is another trigger session workout, or you can do foundational workout number one, which was the first video of the week. Let me explain. If you're more advanced with your training, if you have better recovery ability, if you've been working out for a while, we recommend today you do, you repeat the first foundational workout of the week. Now, if you're moderate, beginner to moderate, today's another trigger session day, which is what you watched uh, in the videos with Paul that he was demoing. So again, let me make that clear. If you're advanced in your training, repeat foundational workout number one today. If you're beginner to intermediate, today is a trigger session workout. The exercises you did today, very basic, band pull downs, band chest press, uh, rear flies, and calf raises. Remember, you're aiming for anywhere between 12 to 20 reps. You're just trying to get a pump. You're just trying to feel the muscle working. You're not trying to go crazy with it. Ideally, you do two to three of these trigger sessions a day. So what that means is you do all the exercises for one cycle, all the exercises for cycle two, all the exercises for a third cycle, cycle, that's one trigger session workout. Later on in the day, you repeat it again. Each one should last eight to 10 minutes. And for those of you who are advanced, again, you're not doing these. You're just repeating <clears throat> the first workout of the week, which was that foundational workout, the one that started with box squats and barbell squats. That's gonna suit you much better. Share this video with your friends, get them on board. Also, if you wanna continue with MAPS Anabolic, because this is only the first five days, that program goes for 12 weeks. 
There's different phases. You're only in phase one. It goes up to phase two and phase three. You can get your hands on it at mindpumpmedia.com. <clears throat> also, if you have questions, ask them in the comments below. And finally, subscribe to our channel because I told you so.